What's up, B2? Capital G here, checking out a new zombie card coming out in the uh, Premium Pack 20. This is Haunted Shrine, and it's an interesting card. It's uh, supposed to be a card that revives zombie monsters multiple times, but I don't know. It's, it's very unique, and I can't really figure out what exactly is going on with Premium Pack 20. If you guys don't know, uh, PP20 is when we're getting the, uh, the Hero Link monster and all that good stuff. So, let's go ahead and check out the card. Seems like they should have released this when they brought out, like, Shirinui or something like that. Shirinui came out in Breaker of Shadows, I think. I'm probably wrong about that. Anyways, Haunted Shrine, normal trap card. It says you can only use one of this card's name's effects per turn, and uh, only once that turn so you can't activate both effects in the same turn effect number one if you control no monsters you can target one zombie monster in your graveyard special summon it effect number two which i mean that's okay but we got so many cards that do that right now like they couldn't they couldn't just have that in the effect effect number two if you control no monsters you can banish this card from your graveyard target one zombie monster in your graveyard special summon it but its effects are negated i actually think that second effect is pretty balanced i think that's pretty good the the problem with this card to me is like it's a very unique card and i understand the dual utility obviously uh this can be like this can be a card that nets you some pluses if you get to activate it twice the thing is you do have to control no monsters for both of the effects you cannot activate them both in the same turn and i don't know it's a trap card so it is kind of slow i've never thought that zombies naturally work all that well with trap cards that's why historically a lot of the cards that uh really support zombies or really break them Cards like Soul Charge, Burial from a Different Dimension, Card of Safe Return, even Book of Life. Like they've always they've always been like spells because you kind of want to get your zombies out of the graveyard the, as soon as you put them in the graveyard. You don't want to have to wait a turn. I know Shirinui have their like Icarus attack card that's pretty damn good, but again, this is a card that does require you to have no monsters on the field. And in that case, you're probably losing. Like if you set this and you have no monsters on the field, like you're probably getting your ass whooped. Now, I mean, you can use this as a defensive card card and then maybe have a monster be summoned block an attack and then during your turn you know maybe that same monster comes back and it can attack and you can still link with and you can still hold you can do a whole bunch of stuff but i don't know man i compare this to something like scapegoat that's just like way more generic and easier to activate and i'm just like the ceiling of scapegoat is just so much higher than this card if you can control monsters on the field Maybe this card would be something I thought of a little bit differently, but I don't know. It feels like it should have just been a spell card or something like that, like a spell that could also just activate from the graveyard. Again, nice defense card during your opponent's turn, but overall, eh. You know what I wish this card did now that I'm thinking about it? I wish this card gave the monster like 500 attack or maybe like 700 attack or something like that. Like, I get the monster can still attack. Uh, but for the most part, I assume you're probably just going to use that monster for like a Link Summon or Synchro XC or something like that. I don't really see that monster causing too much havoc because it doesn't have its effect. So I just wish they would have done something to make the monster feel a little more powerful considering you can't activate either effect if you're, uh, if you have monsters already on the field. So whatever you guys think, leave it in the comment section below. You guys might disagree with me. That's perfectly fine. Thank you guys for watching. As always, subscribe if you have not already and turn on that notification bell for daily videos.